here. Welcome back. We are now on week two of our four-part series on working with sellers. This week, I'd like to talk to you about something that I think is really important, and that is how do you articulate your value with sellers? You know, I used a tool very successfully for so many years when I was selling. In fact, I would not go on a listing presentation without it, and that was the listing presentation agenda. So let me just take a moment to explain why did I use an agenda, how did I use the agenda, and what was the benefit or the advantage to the seller, and also what was the advantage to me as the agent. So first of all, the agenda was a very, very simple agenda. So what the agenda really did is it had a section that said how I work, areas of main concern for sellers, and then at the bottom it said commission. The reason that I did that is, first of all, I did want sellers to know what I charge for commission. I did not want to leave that question out of it. I wanted them to know what their fees would be. I also wanted to list five areas of concern that many sellers have because I wanted them to see that it wasn't just them that had those concerns. So what I did with the agenda when I sat down is I would present the agenda and I would simply say to the sellers, I've created an agenda for us so that you have an idea of the areas that I'd love to cover with you. Some sellers want me to cover everything. Other sellers just want me to cover the area that they are most concerned about. What was nice about that is it put the seller in the driver's seat and it let them make the decision on whether or not they wanted to cover everything or just maybe they were only concerned about price. You'll be surprised, however, how many sellers want to hear about the marketing. They want to hear about your communication. They want to know about technology and photography. They weren't just concerned with price. But what I also did and why it was done in a way that was so respectful is I gave each of them a copy of that agenda. So make sure if you're using an agenda to give each of them a copy, turn it so that it's right side up for them to see, not right side for you to see. You should be able to operate without that agenda in front of you. And I would put it in front of them and ask them where they wanted to start. This was a very important part of using the agenda because if you had a seller that said, let's start with price, you knew right then and there that it was basically a price issue for them. If they said, well, let's look at the marketing, or I'm really excited to talk about technology, you knew that price wasn't necessarily at the top of their list. And it didn't mean that it didn't matter, it just meant that it wasn't the top of the list. So one of the things I want you to do this upcoming week is I want you to have a look at the tool we have for you. We've created an agenda for you. I want you to take that agenda, make a couple of copies, test it when you go to your next listing presentation and see the difference that it has when you're actually starting that meeting in an organized fashion and you put that seller in the driver's seat. You know, I would not do a listing presentation today if I did not have an agenda. Agendas are there to help you stay on track. Agendas are there to give sellers some direction to kind of also know, what are we going to cover today? How long might this agent be here? That's a really important part of having an agenda. I think it's also really critical for you when you are at a listing presentation to make sure that if you're going to talk about, let's say, those five areas that we talked about last week, make sure you have your props. Because if a seller says, the biggest thing that I'm concerned about is how you're going to market my home, you know right away you better have some visual props because they have a big expectation in that area. So I'm really excited because next week we're going to be talking about the CMA and some other things, but for this week I really want you to focus on taking the agenda that we have for you, implementing your business, use it at your, your next listing presentation, and then be back in touch with me and let me know the phenomenal response you have because sellers really, really respond well to the agenda. So uh, until next week, get out there, experiment, try, and uh, please join me next week for week, uh, week three of our Week 4 series. Thank you.